Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman. Now I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema. Sit down, as you can see, we're chilling in my car again, which means it's live reaction time, and with it being a bit darker outside, it's safe to assume I've seen a movie, and I have. It is the third movie of three I needed to see from this weekend, and without realizing it, I saved the best for last, which might not be so great for, like, the channel. Probably should have gotten this one out first. But, oh, man, this movie, it had me right from the get-go. And, oh, every, just every minute of the movie, I was like, yeah, you just pulling you deeper and deeper. And it was really, really good. I mean, every twist, every turn, edge of your seat suspense, seething comedy. What in the world is the Seaman talking about? Pull up a chair, take a seat. I'm fresh out the theater after seeing a simple favor. And, man, I dug this movie so much. I took notes. I have, I have like, a piece of paper with names so I could get to the people that deserve credit uh, and some shout-outs with this flick. Man, I really dug it. And like I said, this starts with the, with the writing um, and the script. Because this movie delivers so many things I wasn't expecting, man. I, laugh out loud is something you I did not expect going into this movie. And it's something that happens a lot in this movie. Um, the whole crowd, many, many times. And it's not because this is like written in jokes or things of that nature. But, but the, the just the natural flow of the... Uh, you know, the dialogue is so sharp and witty that it does just make you burst out laughing almost to like cut the tension that's building throughout the whole film. Um, and a lot of credit goes to Sh Jessica Scharzer for that because um, this script is really, really clever. And it's based on a novel, which I was not aware of. So if I'm off at all in this live reaction be uh, from what the book is, I apologize. I haven't read it, but I want to now because uh, I'm hoping that it's close in line with what went on with the movie. Uh, and that goes to Darcy Bell. So I I'm hoping, Darcy, that you wrote just as good a novel as, as what Jessica Scharzer gave us uh, on the screen. And as well as uh, Scharzer, Paul Feig, who directed the movie, really, really good job, man. I thought it was well-paced. Uh, I thought it was the best way to describe this movie is like trying to follow a trail of breadcrumbs. And every breadcrumb just sucks you in more. And, and Feig does a really good job of delivering that from the script in a visual way that works that continually just sucks you in. And with the score and everything, the way the flow of the movie structurally and technically, just really, really good. But this movie comes down, you know, its big success comes down to its two stars. Uh, Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively and home runs for both. I was so psyched when I saw these two put together in a movie because I really dig Anna Kendrick and she is rising fast. Um, but I'm a huge Blake Lively fan and, and her movies tend to track a little bit lower and I I'm, like I said, I think she's got a very interesting range um, with the films that she's made. And I like a lot of stuff that Blake's done. So to see them together um, made me excited because it was going to be a lot of eyes on Blake. Who crushes it, man? Uh, she's that, you know, uh, working mom who works in New York. Super crazy style. Her style and fashion in this movie is unbelievable. Uh, there's never a time in the film that she doesn't look great. Um, but everything that you need her to be um, from that end, man, she's she's smart, she's witty, she is cold, she's calculated, um, you know, she's funny, um, but and she's sexy and she's stylish and, and like everything you expect, man, the, the house, the whole nine, and just knocks it all out of the park, man. It works so well. And, and the way that it, like she flows through the story, every time she's on screen, you're just like, oh, but Anna Kendrick, oh man, dude. I mean, you get you get some typical Anna Kendrick in this movie, and that kind of leads to some of the comedy. Um, or not comedy, but some of the laughs, because it just plays into that quirky awkwardness that Anna's so good at. Um, and she is the polar opposite to what uh, Blake Lively's character is. And to watch this like relationship form between them, their chemistry is so good, and they counter each other so well, that when like the big thing happens in the movie, and Anna Kendrick kind of takes off, She's able to show some crazy range and do some things that I was not expecting from her. And, and she nails everything, man. By, by the end of this movie, all of a sudden, like, the sexy, cold, calculated, smart chick is Anna Kendrick just as much as Blake Lively. And Blake Lively also kind of borrows from Anna in, in some of the, the more, like, emotional or touching scenes with her son. Uh, the relationship in her, with her son is that soft spot that, that her character, Emily, needs so, so much. Uh, and Anna Kendrick... You can't say anything really about Anna Kendrick, but as we learn, her background really, really plays into what her character, Stephanie, is. Um, and it's just spectacular. Um, add in Henry Golding, who's just coming off Crazy Rich Asians. Really, really solid performance from him. Um, I like how his character is used in the movie um, and what he's able to bring uh, to, you know, from sexual tension to 
you know, some of the, the twists and turns that he's able to deliver. I really thought he did a good job. But my third standout after the two leads, uh, Bashir Saladin, uh, who plays uh, the lead detective in the movie. Oh my gosh, you want to talk about sharp and witty dialogue. Everything out of his mouth is so good. It was a very interesting take on a detective and one that I thought played really well in this script. Uh, keep your eyes on him because he's fantastic. There's also a group of three parents keep your eyes on them too. They're kind of like the spectators watching with us uh, and every time they pop up it's another way that make you laugh and kind of cuts that tension. But ultimately this movie thrives at its best when it is doing the suspense thriller stuff and the mystery stuff and it's so oh gosh I can't like, I want to talk about all of it uh, maybe I will uh, but I can't talk about it here so that's all I can say man I really really dug uh, a symbol favor I thought it was an excellent well put together movie delivered two standout performances from our leads Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick just so good together great great team up whoever casted them and the casting actually throughout uh, when you look at some of the reasons for casting you're like wow that was really well done uh, but that's it, man. That's all I got to say about a simple favor. I really dug it. So now it's your turn, man. Hit those comments down below. If you saw it this weekend, what did you think of the movie? If you have any spoilers, please note them because uh, this movie is just full of spoilers. Uh, but let me know what you were thinking. If you haven't seen it, have I enticed you? I hope so, man. This is, this is quickly climbing the ranks in my head of top movies from this year. So I hope you go check it out. Uh, as always, if you dug this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe and little bell so you get alerts every time I make a new video. For the C-Man Cinema, sit down. I'm the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace! Hey, 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 I'm the seaman and I'm running at ya. Hey, 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 look at this, I got a video, a video, and a subscribe button. Hey, hey, hey.